Story 1. This is a regional theory, but the idea that Robert Picton, the pig farm serial killer, didn't act alone is quite pervasive. The theory suggests that the farm was a common party spot for the Vancouver Police Department and Hell's Angels, and that was the reason he managed to evade justice for as long as he did. Recently, he died in jail, and the families of his victims are furious he was not able to testify. Moreover, there were numerous questionable issues related to the handling of evidence. When you start looking into it, it's pretty convincing. Story 2. The South Korean Prosecution Office is accused of pressuring individuals to the point of suicide. It's uncertain if this is the most frightening aspect, but it is noteworthy that the current president openly acknowledged this issue. I don't know if it's the scariest, but considering the current president openly admitted this, it raises concerns. Story 3. Dark Forest Theory We can't find any evidence of extraterrestrial life because the smart ones are hiding, and the dumb ones have been killed by something else. Story 4. That subreddit Ask Reddit is mostly a data scraping tool used by marketing companies to farm data from the masses based on what Company X is selling. For instance, Disney wants to know what movie to remake next, so let's pay someone to ask about favorite Disney films from their childhood and log the responses. Actually, I just made that up, but I have no doubt it's happening. Edit, yes. I'm aware that the idea of Reddit selling data for market research is not exactly novel. The crux of the conspiracy theory is that many questions are not asked by real accounts. Consider a situation where something is trending somewhere else online, then a question is asked by a user to get a better idea of whether the trend is exploitable in some way or just a flash in the pan. Story 5. The Anti-Conspiracy There is no shadowy cabal of rich people working in concert. They just all went to the same schools, all want to get more powerful and richer. They all think the same. They all cover for each other because they're like each other. We're being disadvantaged by a group who isn't even acting deliberately to do so. Story 6. The current social conflicts were designed to distract us from the trillions of dollars that went from the middle class to the wealthy. It will continue to happen while people argue over body parts and bedroom activities. The people almost succeeded with Occupy Wall Street, but the powers that be continue to divide people to make sure it can't happen again. Story 7. Here's a new one for you. Spontaneous life is actually extremely common in the universe. We talk about the primordial ooze where the first proteins formed into a cell and all that. But this theory states that life actually spontaneously arises on a microscopic level constantly. Well, constantly on a universal time scale, at least. Not all of it is carbon-based, and in fact, life has formed in many different ways that we don't recognize as true life. However, there is one critical thing that acts as a gateway, reproduction. Almost all life that is spontaneously created lives a short time and dies without reproducing. On our world, there have been two instances of spontaneous life that were able to reproduce. One, the precursor that led to all life as we know it on Earth over millions and millions of years. 2. Viruses. Story 8. That all this doomer humanity is the real virus or monster, we are destroying our planet like a cancer type of thinking was made up and spread by corporations to make regular people feel equally culpable for climate change. I am not killing the planet, and you are not either. Something like 70% of all global emissions are caused by 100 corporations. They are killing the planet, but no one will go after them because humanity was a mistake, and that cynicism is what will actually do us in. Story 9. Samsung announced that the Galaxy Watch 4 would include a non-invasive continuous glucose monitor, which would allow you to monitor your blood sugar at any time while you wear it, for as long as you own it. A month before the 4 was released, that feature quietly disappeared from all of the marketing without explanation, and now, years later, is nowhere to be found. I believe Abbott Laboratories, makers of the Freestyle Light Glucometer and the Freestyle Libra Continuous Glucose Monitor systems, panicked, fearing that a non-expiring, non-invasive glucose monitor would be hugely popular among diabetics and devastate their stronghold on the market, paid a huge bribe to Samsung to drop the whole thing. Story 10. It is not particularly scary, but go read a bit of Commander David Fravers' statement about his F-18 crew that were called to check on an object they had been tracking on the USS Nimitz for weeks in the early 2000s. It was dropping from 80,000 feet to 20,000 feet in mere seconds. When they managed to begin tracking it, the radar had trouble picking it up, 
There was no infrared heat signature for the propulsion of the craft as it hovered over the ocean, and it was pulling G-forces no pilot could make without a full blackout. It disappeared from view of both planes and popped back onto the radar 60 miles away, in less than a minute. His crew also took a different video years later of a similar object. Really makes you wonder. There is a full statement of the hearing online. Story 11. Certain state school districts purposefully disadvantage students, so they are forced to attend in-state colleges. This is done in hopes that the educated students will remain in the state for long periods of time in an attempt to improve the condition of the state they found themselves in. Story 12. We were running out of food in 1918, and the Haberbosch process allowed us to continue to overpopulate. Earth naturally cannot handle more than about 3 billion people. Nobody knows what this invention ultimately will do in terms of life on this planet, but there are not supposed to be this many of us. Nitrates, by way of this process, are put into the clouds, rain, and so on, and then fall upon regions of the Earth that were never prepared for that amount of nitrates because it's unnatural. Happy Wednesday. Story 13. Dark Forest Theory states that any species capable of interstellar travel is capable of planetary obliteration. Therefore, it's safest to just eliminate any species that could develop the technology before they have the chance to do so. Moreover, there's no reason to believe we would be the first to develop interstellar travel. Story 14. What is scarier than shadow governments and deep states pulling all the levers? That there are none. It's nobody. We are all just a bunch of apes with opposable thumbs, and nobody knows what we are doing. Story 15. Medical knowledge and technology are more advanced than we think, but are kept from the public because they would cut into corporate profits. As a bonus, the MK Ultra project was not an isolated incident. The United States and other governments continue secret tests on their own citizens. They just got better at hiding it. Story 16. Elites create chaos and divide us so they can go on their merry way of exploiting everything. They are stoking black versus white, right versus left, straight versus gay versus trans, and so on, to distract us from them pulling the strings. We have to stop all this and get to the real problem, which is all driven by money, particularly where money and politics align. Story 17. That aliens exist, but we are the only ones being loud because there is a bigger, scarier race of aliens out there that all the other races are hiding from. So, I am not saying this is true or arguing that it is, but every time I hear this theory, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I thought we were talking about the scariest conspiracy theories we have ever heard, not arguing our own theories. I don't know why everyone is jumping to tell me I am wrong. Story 18 that governments allow events to take place so they can implement security restrictions. The riots in the United Kingdom and protests across the European Union are allowed, possibly even encouraged. The citizens will demand order by any means necessary, and that's when the restrictions will come in. Story 19. One theory for why there were so many serial killers in the 70s and 80s was due to lead in gasoline. The flip side to this, though, is that the reason for the sharp decline in crime in the 90s is due to the removal of lead in gasoline and the decrease in the use of lead paint. Story 20. The one that always terrified me because it actually happened, counterintelligence program. This is no longer a conspiracy, as it's been well documented that it actually happened. The conspiracy that came out of it that I truly believe to this day is that the Federal Bureau of Investigation assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. Story 21. The public school system fails because it was deliberately designed to make students fail, compelling them to move on to factories once their dreams are shattered at graduation. Story 22. I love the idea that the existence of the uncanny valley implies the existence of something that looks human but wasn't quite human and we needed to fear it. Story 23. This is probably an old one, but I actually like and am terrified of the theory that the reasons aliens haven't contacted us is that they want to keep us safe from a more dangerous threat that they're all afraid of. Story 24. Most of the posts on Reddit at this point are fake. There's a reason for so many generic word underscore word underscore number type accounts promoting the most unimaginable things. Ever since Reddit's initial public offering, the value of the site has always been its ability to shape and micromanage any public discussion on current issues. That was originally accomplished mainly through low-wage workers in the third world, but more recently, 
The site has been working with artificial intelligence companies to create improved bot posters to replace them at a lower cost. Now companies can pay for whatever narrative they want to become dominant on the site by flooding posts with opinions on one side or the other. When that's not enough, they'll just pay to have all the opposing views downvoted to oblivion or shadow banned and hidden. Also, most major subreddits are entirely commercial operations controlled by Reddit administrators themselves directly through anonymous accounts. Story 25. Supposedly, part of the reason politicians in mainstream culture, which is largely controlled by elites, were resistant to normalizing homosexuality is because part of getting into clubs like Skull and Bones involved having homosexual experiences with other members. If anyone ever decided to go against the establishment, they would use outing you and your homosexual acts as a way to shame or blackmail you and ruin your social standing and really your entire life. Of course, not revealing they all did the same thing. Everyone involved knew this was part of the deal to get on the inside, and those on the inside used it as an insurance policy. Story 26. Not really a conspiracy, but from the most existentially terrifying book series I've ever read, the Dark Forest Hypothesis as an explanation for the Fermi Paradox. Essentially, because of the speed of light, communication between stellar civilizations can break down very easily. Chains of suspicion will arise that go very deep because you have no idea what the other one is doing or saying in real time. Because of the chains of suspicion built by the speed of light, you have no idea whether someone you can see is malicious or benevolent. Even if you're more advanced than someone you have detected, you have no idea if they have experienced a technological explosion like we did in the 20th century, after you measured them. If you can see another civilization, then at some point they will be able to see you and you have no idea when that will happen even if you're more advanced. Letting someone else know you exist and letting them continue to exist are both dangerous to you. If neither communication nor silence will work once you know of the existence of another civilization, you're left with just one option. Destroy anyone you see. The universe is a dark forest. Every civilization is an armed hunter stalking through the trees like a ghost, gently pushing aside branches that block the path and trying to tread without sound. Even breathing is done with care. The hunter has to be careful, because everywhere in the forest are stealthy hunters like him. If he finds other life, another hunter, an angel or a demon, a delicate infant or a tottering old man, a fairy or a demigod, there's only one thing he can do. Open fire and eliminate them. In this forest, hell is other people. An eternal threat that any life that exposes its own existence will be swiftly wiped out. This is the picture of cosmic civilization. It's the explanation for the Fermi paradox. Hide well and cleanse well. Story 27. In the 90s, there was one rumor that said gang members, as part of their initiation, would drive around at night with their headlights off and chase down and kill the occupants of any car that flashed their lights at them. Not sure who started that insidious rumor, but lots of people were scared about that. Story 28. The one about Bitcoin being invented by an artificial intelligence, which is now accumulating a huge amount of computer power by greedy humans building big Bitcoin mining centers to make money, but all they are doing is building an ultra-resilient network for the AI to run on. The AI also has a huge amount of wealth to now pay anonymously to humans to do its dirty work in the physical world. A superintelligence at some point wants more computation and robot arms. Given robot arms aren't all that great, Money is the next best thing, as humans will do anything for bigger numbers on their bank account. For me, it's truly terrifying. Story 29. I find the idea that powerful organizations are secretly manipulating global events the scariest. It is unsettling to think about how much control they might have. Story 30. It wasn't the scariest because it's nonsense, but it was the way it was told to me that was the scariest. My Whole Foods used to have a bar, believe it or not, and we'd hang there on Fridays. I was waiting for my friends when some random guy sits down and starts chatting to the Whole Foods worker slash bartender. This guy's conspiracy theory of all the things he could invent was that Patton Oswalt killed his wife, right? I figured it was a joke or a bit, but this guy was dead serious. The poor makeshift bartender guy and I were sort of sucked into this whole thing. I'm not really sure how to describe how creepy it was, but this guy was just matter of fact laying out how Patton had spiked her medicine faked this whole breakdown thing, then conveniently got remarried a year later as all part of some grand plan. I wasn't sad when my friends showed up and I moved away. 
This was years ago and that guy still creeps me out. Story 31. That our politicians aren't evil or corrupt at all. They actually think they are helping and this is literally the best they can do and they think they're doing a great job. Story 32. The United States government carried out secret war games to test various ways to conduct a war in Vietnam and concluded that they would lose the war every time and then went ahead and did it anyway. Sigma War Games. Story 33. The text you provided, corrected for spelling errors, acronym expansion, punctuation adjustments, and removal of special characters, is as follows for optimal performance with Azure Text to Speech AI. That the stereotypical alien encounter involving abduction, probing, and other experiments are not aliens, but rather humans from the future, coming back to try and figure out why we stopped being able to reproduce. Furthermore, that concludes that whatever brings about the potential fall of man has already begun.